So until now, our canvas is a direct child of my frame. And in this video, I'm going to put this canvas inside a panel. So let me show you something. This is how it looks now. We have an app, which is a top level class. We have its child is a frame and the frame frames child is our GL canvas. So, but it, it's not the proper way of doing it. The proper way of doing it is creating a container, a so-called panel. It will look like this. So the panel will be the child of frame, which is, which is a child of the app. And every other GUI element, like buttons, sliders, the, uh, or GL canvas, and other widgets, will be the child of the panel. Okay, so let's create that panel class. So class my panel. It will inherit from wakes that panel. Let's create the init method. Init self, give it the parent. And call the wakes panels uh, init method. So wakes that panel that init. Okay, give it the self, the self, and the parent. Okay, it was just this easy to create the container, panel container. So now, this canvas instantiation I'm going to move into so control X into the panel. So now the canvas is a child of the panel and the panel is a child, will be a child uh, of frame. So self that panel equals uh, my panel and self. So now the panel is child of my frame. And uh, let me see it. So now, as you see, we created a panel. Now the GL canvas is its proper size as we defined here. 1120 by uh, 630 but it's no more resizes uh, with the window and because of that I'm just going to uh, here in the my frame I'm just going to set minimum and a maximum size so this window won't be resizable set min min size yes self that size and self that set max size set max size Self dot size. Okay, let me see. Now our window is not resizable. And from now, if I'm uh, I'm going to create uh, buttons, sliders, and 
other GUI elements, everything will go into this my panel class. So thank you for watching.